Hello friends. Of late I have been working on a lot of Android projects and in each of the projects I followed test driven development TDD, right? And it really helped us while building our product or application, right? So how testing helps me during my development? So let's say you already have an app and you are adding a new feature to it, right? So while adding the new feature, you have to make sure that you are not breaking the existing functionality. How could you do that? One, you can do TDD, write test before writing code, right? Or write code and then after write test. Or you can do manual testing and rely completely on your QS, right? So, if you follow TDD, you don't have to manually test your application again and again for the existing features right so that's why we do TDD or follow test driven development how we can do TDD in Android there are two ways one is writing JUnit test pure JUnit no Android component involved and second is writing test for your UI which is your activity tests and we also call them instrumentation tests in Android terms right for that i have used espresso framework it's google's framework to write activity tests or ui tests you can take a look at the framework or this link i have also pasted the link in the description below it can provide you brief for you of what kind of apis it has and what other things it can provide us right there are a lot of stuff also I'm planning to do a series where I will have a lot of videos on the espresso testing itself and I will have marked them as season 1 and episode 1 kind of thing like we have in series right so first we'll talk about the setup how to do setup for espresso right then we'll see how to write our first integration test right then we'll see more complicated tests then also performing some action on the page like clicking on button or doing something else entering some text in the field right then we'll also see some adaptive view tests adaptive view can be list view grid view anything right then we'll also discuss about how we can limit our integration test to one activity because if you not restrict it to one activity it will become a functional test that is something that you don't want right that will come in season 2 and then we will also see some espresso tests which doesn't require UI at all like database tests right so I'm, I will do this series and all the videos will be available under this series itself testing in Android right so for the upcoming videos please do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any video. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in my next videos.